Today marks the 11th death anniversary of former Foreign Minister and distinguished diplomat Lakshman Khadir Gamar. The Lakshman Khadir Gamar Memorial Lecture, organized by the Lakshman Khadir Gamar Institute for International Relations and Strategic Studies, was delivered by the Norwegian Prime Minister Erna Solberg this evening. News Plus was not invited to cover the event. When we inquired into the matter, we received information that just one private media institution had been given the opportunity to cover the event. However, we later came to know that only state media was allowed to cover this said event. According to the official website of the Lakshman Kadirgamar Institute for International Relations and Strategic Studies, Mano Thittavala serves as a member of the board of management at the institute. According to the website, Mano Thittavala is also the chairman of EAP Holdings Limited. Despite this, we at News First decided to bring you some memories of Lakshman Kadirgamar in honor of this renowned diplomat. Born on the 12th of April 1932, Lakshman Kadir spent his childhood in the Jaffna Peninsula. The fact that he lived his early life in Jaffna and that he hailed from a prominent family steered his life into politics. Born as a Christian, Lakshman Kadir Gamar was nourished by both Hinduism and Buddhism which gave him the qualities of patience and compassion. As an individual who possessed all qualities of a gentleman politician, Khadir Gamar was well versed in world politics, economics, international organizations, conflict resolution and international relations. Widely respected in his role as foreign minister, Lakshman Khadir Gamar rendered a yeoman service to our country. On the midnight of 12th August 2005, 11 years ago, Lakshman Khadir Gamar was assassinated while at his residence. Kadir Gamar, who was considered as one of the most successful foreign ministers in Sri Lanka, will always be remembered by his fellow Sri Lankans.